side of the building is. So the, camera's, <laughs> the camera's actually straight. All right. Kind of. So Harper got groomed one time before and she was very aggressive for the grooming. Um, they weren't able to get her groomed and the pet parent kind of, I don't know, just they didn't get her back for more grooming um, since then. So it's their first time owning a dog um, like Harper with the um, coat care needs that Harper has. Looks very on edge. Yes. So I was given a very strict warning that I, I may need to muzzle her. I wish they wouldn't have put this on her. This muzzle is, uh, this harness is too small for her. Oh jeez. And um, it's going to be it's an like... issue to get it off. Oh dear. I had to do that once with Joey and he started screeching. Yes, that's what I'm worried about. So we'll just get the ears through. There we go. And, and well, we know this dog to be a biter, so, well, from what we've been told, so that is my concern. If you do anything that makes them uncomfortable, they'll just go, hey, I don't like that. Bite. So you got mostly a lot of matting around the head and face, which tells me that somebody groomed part of her and then went, nah, I can't do this. Home job? Uh, no, not entirely. Oh, really? Um, so yeah, she actually is pretty badly matted. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I think what we'll do... Where is she matted? Where is she matted? Everywhere. The only part she's not matted is just right here. Everything oh. else is matted. Because that bit's been chopped at. So yeah. it's kind of... <laughs> they chopped them yeah, out. Yeah, and tried it. to brush her and work on her. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's the pet parent's first time oh, owning oh. a breed like this. She's got something they, on her eye to watch Yeah, out she's got too. a lot going on. Oh, she's got cherry eye. Cherry eye, what's um, that? It's where like the inner eyelid comes out. Oh. Really common in Shih Tzus. You can get a surgery to have it corrected. Some people get the surgery done and some people don't. Get my gloveys, because who knows what's going on under here. I'm just going to put my gloves on. You're fine. So what we're going to do, I think, is um, not draw it out. Sometimes groomers like to draw it out with really anxious dogs to try and get them comfortable. But this groom will be nothing comfortable about it. Because of the matting, it's going to be painful no matter what. No matter how slow I go, um, how easy I try to take it, everything's going to be uncomfortable because of all of that matting. So. Let's just go and get everything off as fast as we can, like safely, slowly, what, you know. But I'm not gonna be like, here's the clippers, Harper, smell the clippers, Harper. Cause the clippers are gonna hurt her today. There's no ifs, buts or maybes about it. Yeah. She's badly matted. Ifs, buts or coconuts. Yes, that's right. So, we're gonna put the muzzle on. Good girl, I know, I'm such a meanie poo, huh? Such a meanie poo. I am gonna be a meanie poo today cause this is not gonna be an enjoyable experience for her. Um, but the plan is to get her in for more regular grooming, build up some trust with her and help her to feel safe for her grooming in the future. So she's going to come back in six weeks time and we're going to look after her. So we? the, oh, the cone guys, I've had the cone on my head, it's not uncomfortable so don't worry. No, that's just to um, deter her from biting me because we're, and to protect her face from the clippers. Hey, good girl. I gave the cone a good try as soon as we got it the first <laughs> you day. Did. <laughs> You did. So I'm going to buckle her up this way. I'm using the groomer safer grooming groomer's harness. Yeah. And then just a little tether that I've stuck in the side of my table because that's what works for my table. Although I'm pretty sure Suzanne's got some cool little tethers and stuff as well. Hey, can you do me a favour and just hit the power button on that clothes dryer? It keeps doodle oodling. Doodle Yeah. I can't even hear that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to have her head going this way, and I'm going to do as much work as I can going this way, um, which will hopefully protect me from getting a little snapperoo. You've got gloves um, on because there's poop. Well, usually there is. Or they just don't feel very nice. All right, Harper, we're gonna get the clippers going on you, all right, sweet girl? I promise you I'm here to help you, my little love. I don't wanna do anything to hurt you. And I understand that this is gonna be uncomfortable, all right? But nice, quiet clippers too. We'll look after you. And I'm here as emotional support, okay? Alrighty. <laughs> So I dare say her head and face is going to be the areas that are going to be the hardest to get through and where she'll be the most reactive. I don't like where that baby's going through. I accidentally left captions on, so hopefully they're translating <laughs> everything correctly. They never do. They never do, no. No. She's pretty badly matted. The 7F is struggling to get through some of this, so we'll have to go pretty slow. So I've definitely tried different methods for grooming dogs and matted dogs, fearful dogs, all that sort of good stuff. I believe that every dog has different needs. I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all method to working with dogs that are reactive. 
in well, this case. Well, you don't case, know if she's reactive. You're just going not entirely, no. But I can tell by her body language that she's very much on edge and feeling a whole lot of anxiety. Yeah. So, my guess at this point is that her reactiveness is a fear-based reaction, which yeah. tells us she's just scared. Yeah. So we can love on her and help her feel a little bit more comfortable, but it takes time to build up trust. And um, most of the time I can get there, not always. I'm not um, a wizard, I don't have a magic wand and you know, I'm not the god of grooming scared dogs. But with a lot of patience and love, a lot of the dogs I've worked with have come such a long way. And I think that anybody who gives any dog love and patience can achieve the same thing. So whoever tried grooming her before tried to save her, her coat. I don't know. And um, clipped out the mats and then... But it just ended up looking worse, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's easy just to shave again. Just get it off. Shave I it mean, off. you can't save that. Brushing that out would that. be horrific for this dog. Yeah, that's a... You, if you oh, brush that out, that. you're tormenting the doggy and... Um, we get good girl. Well done. That's a good girl, Harper. They never want to be groomed ever again. And then you've got the yeah. lifetime of impossible it's grooming. not worth it especially on a young dog and i know we all love our dogs so much when they're new puppies and little and we want to keep that beautiful puppy hair but honestly the best thing you can do if it ends up like this is um, learn from your mistakes don't let it get that way again and uh, just cut it all off start fresh don't torment your puppies because their experiences with grooming in their formative time which is in that six to twelve months of life that is what's going to set them up for the next i don't know eight to 14, 15 years of grooming. So uh, you want those first few grooms to be nice. You don't want them to be an awful experience. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else thought the same thing as what I'm thinking, mm. but she has a, a cow pattern. She does, she's a little moo moo. A little cow pattern. Little baby moo moo. No. Like the, uh, the dairy cow. <laughs> So since I've um, muzzled and restrained her in the way that I have, uh, one, her airways and um, throat, neck, all of that is actually clear. She's got no pulling, yanking or anything dangerous happening there. So if she does happen to have a little bit of a tizzy. This doesn't go around her neck. No, that's around her chest and the her chest front legs. The front legs, so if you can see there, her, her leg comes through this. She's not going to be hurting herself. Um, she, she can't go backwards and she can't turn too much. Uh, and this so, is still slack. Yeah, this. So she's not actually hanging. She's, she's sitting a little on the bit, but that's just to stop her swinging off the table or whatever. Yeah, she can't fall off the table. So if she's going to bite at me, I can just go hands off. She's not going to fall. So she'll but, never reach you because on this side here, it's strapped to the. That's table. right. So that's keeping me safe, that's but it's also there. preventing her from biting the clippers. If she's yep. tool reactive, like some dogs just bite the tools. They don't bite your hands. They just go for the tools. If they bite a clipper blade or scissors or anything sharp, Owie. it's going to hurt. Lots of blood. Even pin brushes and things like that hurt, so... Um, Should I put know. some gory pictures up? Of no, 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 no. That's horrible. Nobody wants yeah. to see that. It's such a horrible thing. <laughs> it happens. It does. It does. It happened Not once in this salon. No, it happened once to me. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So a Nick, scissor. I'm talking about like... Oh, the bad ones? The yeah, bad no. Ones. That was just a tiny little... Not even a millimetre, but that tiny little thing was enough to absolutely traumatise me for a start. Yeah. And um, the blood that comes out of them, oh my goodness, they just all lube. Crazy, crazy. So yeah, well, we don't want to see blood that resources to go to the tongue because it's very active. And yep. But as fast as they um, pour all the blood out, they heal up as well. So. Yeah. So uh, that's a good thing. Well, when they're little tiny paper <laughs> paper cuts, it's basically a paper cut, and I cried. I felt so bad. Oh, they do worse stuff at home. That is, you Rummaging, know what, that's what the vet said. I'm like, take it to the vet. Come and get it, take it to the vet. She was fine. Um, but yes, we, we do everything we can to prevent that from happening because it's such an upsetting experience for everybody. Well, this dog certainly had an adventure, like being out in the yard, digging and She has been exploring. living her best doggy life. And you know what, we want dogs to live their best doggy lives. Yeah. Uh, but you've got to keep up the maintenance in between. And so just, just shave them. As much as I want to be, um, you know, judgmental of the pet parent, like, how did you let your dog get like this? Um, it happens. Kylie, the shave down queen, saved the day. <laughs> it happens, unfortunately. Um, people get dogs and they are not prepared for or educated enough to know what to expect. And um, before you know it, they end up in a state like this. And uh, unfortunately, some of us, we go down the route of learning the hard way uh, instead of 
you know, the, the way to prevent that is to always research what you're getting yourself into. If you're gonna be buying a dog, um, learn as much as you can about that breed uh, prior to getting them. This is the cow side. This side looks more like a cow than the other. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it's got a love heart. It's got a love heart there. Can you see that? Like here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a bit cute. Well, this is kind of. So ever, like they that. said that um, she's a very sweet dog, very loving dog, and I believe that. I'm going to go reverse a little bit here just to get under that. I absolutely believe that. Just because a dog gets aggressive in grooming doesn't mean they're not a sweet dog. They're just scared. She doesn't mean to do it. Uh, if someone was scaring me and I had teeth, I'd be biting them too. So you can't well, blame you, the dog for that. If you strap me down and, and put a clipper to me and put a cone <laughs> on my head and then strap me to the table, I'd probably bite You'd you You'd be too. freaking out a little bit, right? Yeah. Actually, no, I'd probably enjoy it. I'll stop that. Stop it. <laughs> I've used that joke before. You have. Sorry to the veterans of the channel. I know where you were going They knew with where it. I was, yeah, they knew exactly I knew where what you were going with it. I was like, maybe not this time, but They no. knew exactly what I was going to say. No, no, no. See, we've been doing it. this for two years now, and my jokes are like... It's been more than two years. And my jokes have to be recycled. That's just how it works. Oh, Sorry. Is. All right. Sorry. Oh, hair everywhere. Look at the hair. Yeah. So I'm going to spin her around and see how we go tackling things from a forward motion. Some dogs... Are okay, no, and others are not. Here, right? okay. Yeah, I do. I keep one on the front and one on the back. You don't need that. Hey, baby. Hi, Harper. Are you doing a good job? There's been no growling or anything, has there? No, she's doing a good job. So the deterrent to that behaviour is all of this. It seems like overkill, uh, but I dare say if I went in with nothing, she would have been on edge from the beginning. She, she knows she can't do anything, so her dominance. yeah, she knows she can't do anything, so she's kind of just submitted to it as her best form of defense is to get it over and done with as quick as she can. So, I don't think I'm going to get into any of this. We may have to just use a ten blade. Oh, let's have a look. There we go. If you can safely find That's a way underneath. Really going, this is where the worst of it is, which is why I was guessing that her front end is going to be the hardest for, to get through. Because of the collar, but also people patting there? Or? Um, but also because likely the last time she was groomed, they probably didn't finish this area. Because <laughs> it wasn't safe. Well, if it's not, no, I, you know, not every groomer is equipped to take on dogs that are aggressive, reactive, it's kind of anxious. Up. It goes with the career. It, it really, it actually job. does not. It actually does not. What? Um, it's more of a specialised area. I'm not to say that I specialise in, in that. You just I need the right tool. I don't believe I specialise in anything, but... Um, if you don't feel confident, competent, and equipped, as in you have all of the equipment that you need, and you have the right attitude and um, personality to work with dogs like this, don't do it. Just say, no, sorry, actually, I'm not equipped to do that. But align yourself with somebody who is. Find a groomer local to you um, that, can, that can and does a good job of it. You must um, be that local groomer. I get a lot of referrals from other groomers saying, yeah, so I'm not comfortable with grooming this dog, but give this person a call. At that the same time, I'm saying that, but I'm the one holding the camera. Yeah, would you do it? <laughs> um, Have you seen some of the like yeah. dogs I've worked with? <laughs> mm, of course I would. And I just look at them and I'm like, that's not very nice. It's easy. Meanwhile, you're like, I'm not touching that thing. Okay, so it's different standing here where I am versus where you are and doing putting your hands where you, you're putting your hands. Yeah, but when you take the right steps to protect yourself and protect the dog, um, from injury, you know, it, it changes the playing field, which is where the equipment becomes so important. Like that time where I didn't have much work and I come out to the salon, I'm right, I'm going to start helping you. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to become a dog groomer. I'm going to become a dog groomer, I'm going to start washing dogs. And then I was the like, first okay. dog sitting in the bath, it's a German Shepherd, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I tried. <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh. I mean, like, I expected this, but I didn't expect it so soon. You didn't even try. You walked in and you're like, nope. So doing is different to saying you're going to do. Yeah, people always say it to me too. Like, um, oh my god, why are you doing that like, oh, no, no, no. Because I get booked up sometimes it, and people have to wait like six to eight weeks to get in sometimes. Yeah. And people are like, so I took them to the dog wash. Yeah, we're never doing that again. Can we please set up a regular schedule? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yep. yep. Don't worry, I don't blame you. No judgment. I wouldn't be washing my dogs. Like, if I didn't have all of this equipment that I have, I wouldn't be washing my dogs. Not tricky dogs. 
although my dogs are pretty well behaved uh, for grooming, except for Alice. Alice doesn't like the blow dryer, so she's a bit of a nincompoop. But you're insane enough to do cats as well. I'm, actually, I'm insane enough to help you. Yeah, you helped me do the kitty cats. Mm, well. But not all cats are silly. I just did one the other day. That was perfectly fine. Didn't even call you. Oh, good. So we're getting got, there. Look at this we've little. We've got Monty this week. Look at that. Next week. Monty? Monty. Which Monty? From Mildura. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. You just offended. Sorry, somebody. Amber. Sorry, Sorry Amber. Amber. My brain what, was. What Monty? Well, because I just groomed a dog named Monty. I did put you on the spot. Yeah, okay, there are lots of dogs named Monty. You know, when I go to Coles to do my grocery shopping, I walk past uh, people, and in my head I go, oh, that's Daisy's mum. That's Daisy's mum. Yeah, but okay, that's so my mum and mom. dad's dog is named Monty. Yeah, he is. And he doesn't like being groomed. Well, no, because dad grooms him all the time. <laughs> he's good for your dad. Your dad looks after yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, he's happier with your dad doing it. He shaved him, he shaved him so far back to the skin <laughs> that he looked like a little piglet. You can see his polka dots on his skin. What you got going on here, girl? But see, how do you avoid doing that here? You got, you've gone with the grain or the hair. Yeah, I'm using the right tools. Scruffy looking, eh? Good girl, Bubbers. There you go. Get rid of that for ya. That was nasty. Nobody oh, wants to look at that. It. Okay. That reminds me of that dog. What was it? Um, oh, I just can't remember the name of the dog. Gizmo? I'll put it up on... Huh? Gizmo? Gizmo. He had that one on the face that we could not get. Couldn't get it. Yeah, and, and that's it was, the thing. You couldn't put the muzzle on either. If you're going to work with dogs that are um, fearful and reactive and aggressive, especially if they're aggressive towards the tools, you got to know when to stop. And I get so many comments where people are like, you should have kept going, you would have got it. But no, you have to firmly know when to say. Yeah, they're the people here that don't have their hands near the dog. They're but the ones that even, are behind the camera. Like in that case, it wasn't even my hands that I was worried about. He was going to either get his eye poked out or his tongue cut off. Yeah. Like there was no ifs, buts or maybes about it. it and in, in persisting and continuing to try, all we did was like increase his exposure to extreme amounts of stress when he can go to the vet, get sedated, have a little nippy nap and wake up with none of those problems. So that's when you go, do you know what? This is enough. Let's get him over to the vet and the vet can look after him. You have to know when to stop. Otherwise you're just being a butthole, putting dogs through unnecessary trauma. I'm very annoyed by what you just said. Uh, that's okay. You can, you can say that. No, you said if, buts and maybe. It's oh. if, buts and coconuts. Oh my Sorry, God. I'm How sweet. many times? All right, I'll work on it. I can do this. I'll, I will improve. Ifs, buts, and coconuts. No, ifs, buts, or coconuts. There you go. Thank you. You're doing such a good job, Harper. So maybe it's going to be the legs that are the problem? But you know what? There's tools for that. Yep. I'm going to hang this doggy up today on the... Put her in a little hammock for yeah. a little rockabye baby. In the end, it's going to have an extremely good, She's smooth, doing fantastic. experience. And this is what we want. So I said to mum, you know what? It takes as long as it takes. Don't bother me. I'll let you know when I'm done. All right, you said that. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> takes yep. as long as it takes for me to give her a positive grooming was experience. Mum anxious? Or so was... it wasn't mum that dropped off. It was a friend that did the drop off. All right. Um, but couldn't be. Yeah, it. everyone was anxious <laughs> and worried. But I just said, you know, like the haircut is not important. How she looks at the end of this groom, we don't care about that. That's not what matters. It's gonna be beautiful. Smelly. Look at that. Good golly, girly. You gonna smell that? Look at it. It's all off you now. Look. Oh, does that feel so good? Does that feel so good? Oh, I bet yeah. it does, sweet girl. We'll get you washed in a minute. You're doing fantastic. You are such a brave baby. <laughs> Look at that little face. You're a beautiful pudding, huh? Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a very good girl. So well cute. Done. You get kisses later when you're not so smelly. Yes. Stinky. Yes, indeed. Just like me, I have to wash and stuff before I get kisses. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> get your stinky self away from me. I deal with enough stinky creatures, thank you. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can get these ears free. The matting doesn't seem so tight that we'd have a hematoma risk here, but we'll see. Just take it nice and easy. I thought it was only on the big ears. Hang on, I'm turning it around. I thought hematoma risk was only on the bigger ears. Uh, more like your Cavalier and Copper Spaniels and stuff like that. 
usually just because they have so much hair when it mats it like really yeah. cuts off the circulation uh, right. yeah. but it can happen on any breed it, the, it just depends how tight that matting gets in the skin these guys are very much less likely because there's not as much hair they've got thinner well, we have hair on the ears. That and 7F looks massive compared to... It's a wide seven. blade. Yeah. <laughs> you get good at using wide blades. And then it becomes the thing you're most comfortable with, no matter what size of the dog is. Oh dear, we've got to yank some hair out. No, of no, no, no yanking. We're not yanking no hairs out of nowhere. Got the cat. This is the cat one. Well, they're not really cat clippers. Cat clippers? They're recommended to me for cats, but I don't actually use them for very much. Just little tidbits. There you go. Because they're silent, that. yeah. They're pretty quiet in comparison, and they're very light, so maneuverability is high. And you're using these powered clippers because they're quieter too. Oh, you know, I was using um, the Heinegger Sapphire and Heinegger Opal uh, battery or cordless clippers. I love them, but I, what I've discovered is that they're just not that suitable. They can take the wide blades, but it runs the blade drive down a lot quicker. This yeah. is their KM10s, and these are just being a workhorse on wide I've blades. I've never considered that, that the blade would, creates a lot of friction and it took, stress on the motor. Yeah, it took me a while to work out what the actual issue was, but I, I have now worked out that it's just the weight of these wide blades on the, the yeah, blade right. drive. That battery power, like the opals and sapphires, they take it and they do well initially, but the blade drive just goes down the drain a yeah. lot quicker than these KM10s. Is it something we can replace and fix? Yeah, you replace the blade drives. I've done it a bazillion we'll it times. Once. No, I've done it a few times now. It just doesn't last, um, which is normal. You have to keep doing maintenance on your tools and equipment, but um, I don't want to do it that often when the, the next set of clippers handles the wide blades better. Yeah. But wide blades are a fairly new thing, so all of these clipper makers will be, you know, um, scrambling to make designs that can tolerate those wide blades yep. better. So the next time you go... It should be better equipped, should right? should be better equipped to suit yeah. it. Yeah. Um, nothing's come out yet. Uh, the, the wall KM sends and stuff like that, they're, they're making, they've got new clippers out. But this brand caters to um, like livestock grooming, horses and things like that. Yeah, right. And so their equipment is actually pretty heavy duty. Seen some pretty fancy grooms on some horses. Oh my goodness. They do the patterns and stuff yes, in them and so they make them look like little, uh, like they're not even real, I like know. they're a piece of furniture. Gorgeous. I wish. I'm not a horse person, uh, as in like I spend a lot of time around horses, but I would love to be a horse person. No thanks. <laughs> like, so I like little dogs because of their little poops. Yes. Right? Yes. So you just keep getting bigger and bigger things. Yeah. Alice is big enough. Yes, she is. A standard and dash hound. Tiny wasn't exactly tiny. Tiny was huge. She was huge. Visible massive cross. Aw, bless her little cotton socks. Massive turds, right? Why, why are we sitting down? Can and then you're down? talking about getting a horse. I forget. No, I'm not talking about getting a horse. I just would like to spend time with a yeah, horse. Yeah, no, that means you want a horse and you're going to no. go out and buy one. Mm -mm -mm. And then next weekend, we're going to have a horse in the backyard. No, I have learned my <laughs> lesson. I am at capacity for the caring of now animals. Now, you haven't learned anything. I have. You haven't. I've learned that you, you have too bought, many animals to look after. You just bought Joey. <laughs> yeah, that Literally. was my lesson. He's wild. He's an absolute fruitcake. You cake. haven't learned anything. Uh, yes, I have. No, you haven't. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to groom this dog. <laughs> <laughs> my husband is always right. Remember that. I've never heard anybody ever say that. Everyone in history has always thought it. No, every man in history has always thought it. Well, that's at least a half the people. At least a half the people? At least a half the people. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the other half of the population that are, in fact, always right, don't think that. <sighs> no, we just let you think you're right. That's the thing. It's just easier. No, no, no. Easier we, for us. We let you think that you're right. Easier for my kind to just let you think. Are you feeling so much better? I really bet that you are. Can I go under your chin here? Let's get some of this out of your face. And keyword, let. Let you think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She's doing such a good job, considering the like anxiety. Um, I can't show you guys. These guys booked online, so they self-booked. I can't show you the booking, but they booked um, they booked a small to medium dog groom. They booked an aggressive dog additional surcharge and an additional um, heavy matting surcharge. So they planned ahead. They well, they have covered like everything yeah, possible. Right. Instead of um, putting in small puppy. Yeah, right. They so I'm like, okay, these guys know what their dog is like. I'm gonna trust that. Um, 
they've like let me know the risk and that she definitely had to be muzzled the last time somebody tried to groom her. Been good so far. Yes, you little doll cake. Yes, you are. I think I love you. Can we be friends? Can we be friends, little harpies? See, the tongue can still go in and out, guys. So. Oh yeah, she can breathe. She's got um, she's got a good amount of room in here. Space there. And as this hair is dispersing, so she's getting more room in that muzzle and um, getting more comfortable. Sweet girl. What's going on here? Okay, so now we're getting towards, I guess, what's going to be tricky. I've got less restraints on her, but I'm going into areas that might be more reactive. These front legs, the chest. She's falling asleep. She's doing fantastic. Just as I say that. There we go. Okay, sweet girl. You're doing such it's a good job. It must be it's good to good finally baby. get a good scratch. She's a good baby. And she's going to get to sleep in the bed tonight, which is cool. Oh, yeah. If she doesn't already. So I did let them know to get her a jumper. Just because um, like dogs don't get depressed when you give them a haircut. They're not like, I'm so ugly. Um, and then their behavior <laughs> changes. Their behavior does change. It's because, hello, you just took like a kilo of like woolly fluff off of them. Yep. And um, everything feels different. There's breezes, there's different touches and sensations. The hair gets like a feeling when it gets moved. If you've ever shaved like the back of your head or something and you're like, ah. Everything feels different. So they're not depressed because they're ugly. They just feel different and they're okay. experiencing things differently. That's gonna be a new try. Are you making fun of me? Yeah. <laughs> that little ah. Uh, so I did, did. She's got big nipper knoppers too back here. Um, like, I did. That's all I'm going to do. Just that in the intro. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I did encourage them to get her a jumper just tonight, especially. I know when I take my dogs, uh, I have a toy poodle and a toy uh, cavoodle, cavalier poodle cross. Um, when I take them back after a long time of being in a long coat. Uh, and at least once a year they go back in a 7F pretty much just to reset everything. Um, they curl up into little balls at night because they're like, oh my god, I'm so cold. Well, they can't buy any today. Um, no, they can't, but they can keep her inside. And Why keep can't they warm. buy anything? Why is nothing mm. open today? I don't know. I don't know. Don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about the fact that today is uh, it actually illegal to even work. Well, today. I don't know. I couldn't work it out. It said it online. Well, it said that in some states it's considered illegal. Considered illegal. But, okay, so businesses can open under certain circumstances. So I consider animal welfare to be uh, an acceptable circumstance. Good one. I like that. Yes, animal welfare. So it's Good Friday. It's Good Friday. Um, I actually, what I did is I booked this Friday off thinking it was Anzac Day. Yeah. Um, and I booked the, the day that is actually Anzac Day. It's a Thursday, and I, but I booked the Friday for that yeah. one. So I'm... I stuffed it up, but at the same time, um, I do not observe religious holidays personally because I'm not uh, of yeah. any particular religion, um, but obviously I'm respectful to other people's right to observe those holidays, um, but I just don't think about public holidays. As a self-employed person, if I don't go to work, I don't earn any money, so I don't really take public holidays off, uh, but Anzac Day I do observe because obviously I care about my countrymen, my yeah. fellow countrymen that, um, you know helps me to themselves. have this beautiful country that I have to live in. Um, so yeah, I definitely respect that holiday. Um, but any other public holiday, I work, other than Christmas Day. That's the well, only so the, other day the I thing take is, off. You didn't even know. Because when you, when you do um, your bookings and stuff, you, no, you I don't, don't see any of that stuff. And when you're self-employed, there's nothing to remind you that that's, that's that day. So if you even asked me what Good Friday was all about, I couldn't actually tell you. I can you. tell you. You can, I can't. It's not, you know, it's just not the way. It's when the biblical Jesus was nailed to the cross. Right, okay. And I respect that. Like, I respect people doing and what then, they do. So Easter is him rising from the dead three days later, even though it's only two. Oh, okay. And the, well, the, the egg any, symbolizes new life. Don't put any, um, you know. No, no, I'm all good. Uh, so I was, I brought up Christian, I think. Hey, how'd that feel? Is that nice? Get that out of your little ear. That was in that little ear. Stinky. Yeah, right. That must be good to get out. <laughs> nice. She's like, what just happened? Yes, but if they want to come and arrest us for working on a, uh, on a day, 
um, they're going to have to work. Like the police are going to have to work. <laughs> they would have to be at work. They have to be at work. To okay, have so arrested. like service stations can open. <laughs> Yeah, service stations are open. Medical facilities are open. Like, I'm not doing something that's totally horrible. I just didn't realise. And then by the time I did realise, I had bookings and I was like, oh, this, if, if people cancel, like, of course, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Um, no consequences for that. Um, that wouldn't bother me at all. I'd just be like, well, I guess I'm finishing early today. So um, as a kid, um, growing up, you'd always have a barbecue or something like that on on Good Friday, right? Oh, okay. You always have a barbecue. Right, so you turn up to this barbecue and you go, yeah man, I'm totally gonna get a big steak and a nice big hamburger and all that sort of whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then you find out, no meat on this day. And then so the person cooking the barbecue <laughs> What are they observes doing? Observes that rule, and they only cook fish. Ah, oh, okay. Just fish. Now, as a kid, of course, you, you forget this and you get to the barbecue and you go, ah. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh dear. No one likes fish. Do you like fish? I don't eat seafood, no. I, okay, oh, I like that's a seafood. lie. I like seafood. I mean like, like fish. From the fish shop, you get like a big fish battered chips. fish that's been yeah. horrifically deep So that's fried. allowed today. Um, that means the fish and chip shop has to be open. And, and they're going to work uh, I do like a bit of salt and pepper calamari. Salt and pepper squid. Yeah. So you do like seafood. Lemon pepper. No, that's it though. That's the it's extent. Still seafood. That's also deep fried. So I, that's why if you like put salmon on my muffins, I'd be like, oh. I don't like that. I see food and eat it. I <laughs> don't. Me too. Mostly I see cake and eat it, but you know. See cake and eat it. I've been good. I've been see good. See cakes. I've, uh, I've, I've lost two kilograms. Have you? Yeah. You can't tell because yeah, it's only two kilograms. Yeah, we've got no money to buy cakes. <laughs> there is that. No money to buy cakes. No iced coffee. No cakes. I've yeah. been a good girl. I've been a good girl too. <laughs> What's about damn time? Been cooking every night. Yeah, no takeaway. We haven't even been doing uh, any matches or anything. Calm down now. We don't need to be silly. I'd right? like to, but I'm worried in the menu today at Macca's is it just going to be fish burgers? Well, I don't think they're open. Yes, they are. I okay, Google, is McDonald's open on Good Friday? McDonald's Renmark is open 24 hours a day. <laughs> there you go. Keep it simple. So, so there. Yes. There. Google's like, there. <laughs> Alright, well there you go. Well, I don't know what they're serving. Ring them. No. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter because we're not eating any more takeaway. I might slip in the old one every now and then. Yeah, well, after band practice. Cheating. Make no, sure I don't you... go that way, actually. Well, if you do, make sure you bring me a cheeseburger oh, and right. a vanilla yeah, okay. shake. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll steal a little banana no. bars. <laughs> well, I found a quicker way to get the band practice and it doesn't involve going... Past the temptation. Past, past the Maccas Come and here. the KFC and the Hungry Jacks. Come here. Harper. Come here, Harper. Hi, sweet baby. Hi. You're okay. Did you get a bit worried about me going near your eye? Yeah. Cherry buffers. You're alright. That all right. thing probably hurts. I don't know. Does it hurt? I don't actually know. I don't see too many of them. And most of the ones that I have seen, um, they've gotten the surgery to fix them. Yep. Um, but not everybody does that. Alright, no, no. You're gonna be a good girl now. You've come such a long way, there's no need to start being silly right now. Get your tongue in. There you go. That's it. Good job. Alright, I am gonna keep this on because I still am yet to identify what her trigger is. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't. Sometimes you just touch feet. a certain area and you're like, oh damn. Now we've gotta do feet. Ta. Good girl. I know. Um, it could have just been an initial, like, this is my first time being groomed, what is going on reaction, and that she doesn't actually have any specific triggers, but we don't know that till we know it, so let's just play it safe until we do. And I've kept most of her hair here, so you can see how much has come off her. I will throw it in the bin, don't worry guys. I know some people get their knickers and are not about that. Up you get, sweet girl. So I'm going to do her sanitary first, because these legs are actually really badly matted. Um, it's going to be a bit uncomfortable for her to work through that. So, we just want to go nice and careful because, like I said, she's got some pretty big nipper knockers yeah. in here. And very pokey. Pokey pokey. And oh, it's not nice. just on the girl dogs that the nipples are there. <laughs> boy dogs have nipples too. Yep. Something you learnt. No, I have no idea. 
Do you know it's actually pretty common that people don't realize that? Yeah. I didn't know that, but yeah, it's pretty common. People are like, well, why would boy dogs have nipples? I don't know. Why do male humans have nipples? <laughs> no, see, when God was making them, right? Yes. He put them on the girls. And then he's gone, I've got all this elbow skin left over. Let's just do it on the boys for a bit of fun, I reckon. <laughs> Make it easier to manufacture them, because then you can just use one body. Yeah, they're all the same. Makes sense. And that's a scrotum on the dog, it's also left over elbow skin that yeah. I would have. Why do they have so much elbow skin? Ah, <laughs> oh, Harper, you're okay. I was waiting for you to say it. I just really? Knew, yeah, I know you so well. Are you giving me cuddles, oh, Harpy? Yeah. Are you giving me big cuddles? Well, it's, it, it beats them carrying around the little balls in their hands, so it made little pounces out of them. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, Harper, Imagine come trying on. to carry the balls in the, now, the right? claws. I don't Good exactly job, have sweetheart. hands today. Good job. You're doing fantastic. It's okay. You're okay. I stole that joke from... I think that joke's been stolen Billy by Connolly. everybody you can imagine. Billy Connolly. There we go. Yeah, we're going to put this back on just in case because I'm going to... We're getting into the stuff that's like more likely than other things to be a triggering experience for her. So we'll start with um, Booty Patrol. Oh. Let's just get all of that off. Can't see anything because it's dark. This <laughs> is very dark. There was a lot of matting in this sanitary area, by the way. She is going to feel a lot better. Yep. Well done, sweetheart. I'm gonna leash that vulva. You're going to pee like a champion when you get out of here. This is gonna be a lot. What? It's not going all over my head. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? It won't be uncomfortable. It's all gonna be much, much nicer for her. So I think there's still just a little bit left on that vulva, yeah. but let's have a big foot for a quick. I bet that tickles. It probably You wouldn't does. be able to hold me down and do that to my feet. To Some my dogs, toes. especially big dogs like golden retrievers, they donkey kick you. Yeah, you well, it. it tickles. Good golly, I've been donkey kicked a few times. Someone's been trimming your paw pads. Rabbit donkey. That head's a lot shorter than anything else. Rabbit donkey kick. Imagine being kicked by a rabbit. Apparently it hurts a lot. Yeah, if they thump, that's why they call them thumpers. they got a lot of power in those little spring legs. No, I've shaved a rabbit's butt before. Don't ask me. Somebody called, they're like, my rabbit's butt is matted, can you shave it they for me? They didn't come back. They did not come back, but that's all right. Um, don't know. Maybe they were decided to do it themselves. Uh, hopefully, maybe they were just seeing how I do it so that they could uh, they were here. learn. They were here, weren't they, holding the rabbit down? Yeah, I got them to stay. I, I'm not interested in starting rabbit grooming. They're very particular. <laughs> and um, I'm not all that comfortable with uh, guinea pigs, rabbits, uh, mice, rats, any of those sorts of things. But you go cat, like, so you go nice placid dog straight to the, like, the demon of everything straight into the cat. It's a big mean ant in there. Ow. Ow. Probably did her a few times before it died. Probably got stood on. The ants have stingers in the tail. I didn't initially know this. I thought it was in the body biters. No, so the... Um, it's actually, yeah, it's a stinger that's in the abdomen at the very, very back, like a bee. Yeah. Except for they're not barbed. So a, a bee has a barbed sting, so it actually gets pulled out and stays inside um, the victim's body. Yeah, right. But an ant has a stinger in the tail. Okay, I didn't want to shave that high up here, but that was really tightly matted. When you looked at an ant, you'd think that's it was okay, the pincers on the front. Yeah, that's what I thought. They'd bit you. No. They're actually stinging you. They got um, a little bit of venom too. That's why it actually hurts a lot, like a bull ant. Yeah. Well, I grew up in Queensland where the green ants rule the world. Yeah. 
if you go outside barefoot in Queensland to You're check the mail, to just go check the letterbox or to hang washing on the line, you're going to get stung by a bee, you're going to get bitten by green ants, <laughs> you're going to cop it. There ain't nothing you I'm can sorry, do to save but, yourself. Um, I've been to Queensland before. It's actually not that dramatic. And the huntsmen's, the huntsmen's, the huntsmen's are this big, the huntsmen spiders, uh, and the cockroaches are like this long, mantis. and they fly. The praying mantises the praying are like this. This big, yes. Yeah, so yes. It's so dramatic. That's right. I think it's just someone who's, what about the cockroaches? Did That's what I just cockroaches? said, they're like this, this yeah, yeah, big, yeah. and they fly at you. At you. They want to get in your mouth. My whole childhood is full of memories of childhood trauma around what, cockroaches. Well, how big are the drama llamas over there? This big. <laughs> <laughs> See, I went to Queensland and it wasn't that bad. It Do you really remember? Isn't. Okay, let me take you back. Do you remember that time when we were living in Queensland yeah. in a little unit? We just had a new baby yeah. and I was outside hanging washing on the line at night and the cat was out there with me and then I spotted a ginormous huntsman. Yeah. And it was on the door and yeah. I couldn't get inside the house and you couldn't get outside the house. <laughs> So you got a broom and you were trying to sweep it off the door so that I could come in. Yeah. Right? Do you remember that? Who was being a drama llama, by the way? Um, and at some point the cat leaped on it. Yeah, and chased to, it. But it wrapped around the cat. The cat. Do you remember I that? I remember the cat running away. Like, sorry, the, not the cat running away, the, the spider running away no, from the cat. No, it was on the cat and its legs were wrapped around her. It was that big. But also, yeah. speaking of drama the cat llamas, was just a what? Um, I, have a, I have a video evidence which uh, I'm going to try and get into this okay. video. Okay. No, you're not going to do it. Do you remember that time you were trying to get a gecko out a of gecko. the house? Yeah, whatever. And you were up on the chair trying to catch yes. it, and then you squealed yeah, I know. and ran away. No, 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 it didn't run away. <laughs> it jumped out at me. <laughs> <laughs> now who's the drama llama? It, huh? was a, it was a massive gecko. Now who's the drama llama? It was this big. It wasn't even a big one. It's a little bitty one. It was a big It's alright, big girl. You're doing fantastic. You're okay. You're doing a great job. Okay, I'm not scared of geckos. I don't know why it made me jump. I know. And you squealed too. Did not. Hilarious. There's no video of that. There is. I have a video. No, you don't. I have a video. And I w I'm not afraid to use it. Well, if you find Come it, I'll put it girl. in this video because I know that people will want to see that. But you're never going to find Good it. Good girl. Uh, I only looked at it recently. You're so going to forget about it. Every time I get a new phone, I save the photo of you wearing my dress standing next to a vacuum cleaner and the video of you squealing when a gecko got you. You're welcome. The gecko didn't even get me. It just moved. <laughs> oh, and I was standing on a ladder. All right, good girl. I don't know what I plan to do with it, the gecko. You were just trying to flick it outside because the cat was going to eat it. I was like, can you just put it outside? I don't want the cat to eat it. I still didn't gecko guts out the front the other day. Oh no. Yeah, the cat got it. Yeah, the cat got it. Cats then, are terrible. And then left the remains. Ah, 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 for ah, me ah. to walk in. Ah, ah, ah. Good girl. Well done, Harper. Good girl. You're doing fantastic, my little love. The, the cat comes inside at night time, guys. Yes. Yeah. wondering. Yes, she does. She comes in on her own volition. She, yes, she just comes because through the doggy door. Because there's a doggy door. door. And she comes in through the doggy door. She's just like, hey guys. Hey guys. And she follows me out here in the morning. Yep. Screaming and at me for her food. breakfast. She has her breakfast. So if she kills animals, it's, it's for sport, not for really anything else. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's true. Cats are so deadly. Yeah, they <laughs> She'll be the last cat Why we do ever we have own. A cat? No, she'll be the last cat we ever own. I love cats, uh, but no, we won't be having any more kitty cats. Yeah, well, that's one of your wise decisions again. They're always my wise decisions. Oh. Goodness me. What is that? That's my phone. That's Leah. Alright. We're going to take a pause. quick break for a second, guys. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Scene, take, roll, date, sound. 23. Producer. It's always Director 23. camera. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Because I just had a fizzy drink. Alright, we're back guys. Let me get some new gloves on. Now, long sponsor today. Kept Pepsi Max. Max. Keeping me sane. Max taste zero sugar. Lovely. Sorry. This is literally flavoured water, you know that. But yeah. it, 
At least it's cheaper than petrol these days. <laughs> it is. It is. And cheaper than well, milk. Actually, you know what? It's, I don't think it is anymore. Cheaper than milk? Nah, it's, the price has gone up so dramatically. Alright, so. So it's more expensive than petrol. I wonder if this girl and is. And petrol, guys, is like <laughs> from the petrol station, fuel. Gas. Gas, yeah, right. I wonder, I, I don't know what got her so reactive in her previous grooming. She's clearly not been no. reactive today, but you could never say, is it because um, I've already put the, the muzzle and cone and things in place to, yeah. as a deterrent and, and preventative? Um, is it because she's grown up some more and she's not as fearful of things? You've got the right tools for the job. But also there's a calming man yeah, it's all you, baby. Around, standing around. Good girl, sweetheart. You're doing great. I do feel like I've contributed to that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get that off for you. Just straighten that leggy out for me, alright? There we go. Oh no, that hurts, huh? I forgot the name already. Harper. Harper. Alright, let's have a look at this. It's okay, let me get it off. How old is Harper? She's Two. 11 months 11. old. 11 months? Yeah, and she's a baby. Okay. Little Bubba. Come here, sweet girl. Come here, it's okay. Let's calm down. Harper. Let's calm down. Harper. Look, hi, you're okay. We're nearly finished. Come here. The hard stuff is almost over and you get to have a warm bubble bath. Alright, you're doing fantastic. You can relax. Yeah, the bubble bath's going to be good. I'm going to get this. This foot seemed to be the worst, so... The one that she's stopping you from yeah. touching. Yeah. I'm going to get this off and you're going to feel a bazillion times better. Calm down now. And that's her right hand. Use that front strap thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm trying not to because you need to get into all the little bits and pieces, but oof, we got hair everywhere. We got hairs everywhere. It's okay, bubbles. So once I finish here today, I'm going back to work. <laughs> I know. Right? I'm grooming whiskey with him next. Oh, whiskey. Yeah. I didn't get to see him for his last visit. I had to cancel, so right, I'm looking forward to seeing my little wiggly. Although, I suspect he's going to be a very hairy boy. Well, you just be matte, don't you? You don't shave him or anything? No, no, no. He, uh, de shedding. He gets de shed. He's a border collie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant, I meant de shed when I said de matte. I thought you might have. So, Whiskey's one of my dogs that were pretty reactive to start out. Yep. He was uh, very reactive to the brush. And he's doing fantastic now. I still have to struggle to get him to actually stand off. But other than that, he's fine. He jumps on the table, he jumps in the bath, he's ready to go, and yep. he lets me brush him. And he if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you've seen Whiskey jump on the table many times. You're probably sick of the video already. Well, sometimes, if I haven't put the table down straight away, and I bring him over here, he jumps on the table when it's up this high. Even so, when it's up super high. Yeah, yeah. i got to make sure that the table's down before I let him over here. Yeah. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You've just got some mats so right that's nothing for him. He's a sheepdog. Yeah, I know, but you don't want to do anything that's, like, risky. Right, okay, this is... You can see it's twisted up in there. Yeah, but it's in such delicate area, and there's not much room to maneuver these great big clippers around. Yeah. You can cut the underarm skin very easily yeah. if you're not careful. It's um, very, very careful with that stuff. There we go. So I don't know what you guys can see then, because I was busy looking at it. <laughs> you looking at it. I hope I caught it. I've got no idea. Should be Have feeling much better. That's see. all out of there. Now, let me just check I got the underarm on the other side. It looked pretty clear, but then you never know. And this bit right here. Yeah, that's all right. There's a little bit of noodling in there. Little needle noodles. Let me grab my clippers. Sorry, sir. I'm just spinning all around the place. There we go. She's now a little less noodle oodly. Excellent. So, the next question is, do I try my luck with a nail trim? Because she definitely needs it. Yeah, we've got to 
strapped, locked and loaded. So after a bath, we're only going to do just a quick rundown, scissor tidy up the Tootsie Woots, which are feet for normal people. Um, you know, make it look as pretty as we can and then send her home feeling much better. Good girl. I want someone shoeing a horse yeah, and then fixing the nails night. up. Well, the nail? I don't know if you call it a nail. Uh, it's actually horn. Huh? It's horn. The horn? Yeah, it's horn. The feet, the hoof, okay, the hoof. Speaker. Yeah, it's a hoof, but the, it's horn. Horn material. That's what's growing. But that's what this is. Surely, yeah. just a little aversion. Shh. Oh my goodness, I just got hair on my face. Do you want to rub on my belly again? <laughs> no. I thought about it. Are you ready, Harper? I'm so itchy. You just made it, you just put more on there. I probably did. Why is this nail short? Did somebody cut just one nail and then go, oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, calm down now. There we go. Let me see the dew claw. And of course, when you cut the nails, Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're claw. long. That's going around. Trying to stop you from getting the cheek claw. Yeah, that's a long one. That was going to come back and bite. Yeah, they go into the... Skin. They curl back and then out. They go into the paw. Yeah, when you cut the dog's nails, they're super sharp, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> so if she's not too good for blow drying, bathing and that sort of stuff, it's going to be fun. But I'd rather get all the, like the hard stuff done now so that once she's out of the bath we just do nice easy stuff nothing scary yeah Shh. Harper I, it's got a little bit of a, a corner on it are you licking your lips because you're getting grumpy with me it's okay there we go you're okay I'm gonna look after you so dramatic she heard that she's looking at me like how oh dear oh, no. Oh dear. Oh, you scared me is that time. Is it sore? Is there something oh, She in would there? have very tender toes with these nails being so long. Oh goodness. It's okay. So this side is longer than the other side? Yeah, because they haven't been able to do it in the past. Yeah. Harper. They've done the other one and got to this one and they've given up because there we go. she kicked up enough of the stink. It's okay. It's okay. I'm looking after you, Harper. You're going to feel so much better in just a minute. Yeah. And then there's yeah. the G claw. No, ma'am. We're going to be good doggies today and let's get looked after, okay? Alright, that's a good is start. There a G claw? Yeah, I just did that G claw. That was the G claw, was it? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, you know, you're the dog person. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ask me about the camera. Actually, I don't even know about the camera. I was going to say, what brand are we using? <laughs> LG. This is a Samsung. Mine and these are Logi. But we have web, web cameras, a Logi, right. Logi camera. So I've already run the bath for her. So I was prepared. Yeah, right. Did you do the, the rear nails? No. So they don't have very much length to them at all. Okay. Which is pretty common in these small dogs because they jump up a lot. Yeah. They're always jumping and it, they tend to wear down the back nails better. Yeah. Once she's washed and we get all that excess hair out of there, then we can have a better look at it. But the risk of cutting them too short when I can't see clearly is pretty high. But anyways, that's, um, look, there's some poo. Oh, um, videotaping this. Why are you doing that? That's not helping me. It's a frameo. So during our live streams, people can send their photos to that. And I've got to work out how to make it so that that plays on the screen. That's what happens when you sit to groom. Why do I sit to groom? Let me tell you. I'm having a hysterectomy in a few weeks uh, and I am living with some very uncomfortable pain and so I alternate between sitting and standing and at the moment I'm sitting. All right sweet girl. Well Let's I would sit to groom. <laughs> Most people stand to groom. It yep. is relatively yeah it's it's easier but if you're used to sit to groom you get like you do just fine. I alternate. All right, sweet girl. So, well, now that she's got all that off, look at all the room in the harness. Yeah. We can uh, tighten this all up a bit. So you can also see clearly now how that harness fits. Um, it's an X 
sort of shape that's going over her chest yeah. and leaving her delicate trachea and neck throat area all clear of stress. Uh, she hasn't been crazy today but sometimes I get dogs that are super crazy and you really appreciate them not pulling on their necks. Alright, in you go sweetheart. It's alright. Sorry about the camera work, it's a bit dodgy today. I just put her on the stand, but I bet you didn't even realise. It's okay, it's okay. Alright. Now, obviously I've got a great big bath, and it's quite loud. I do a lot of large free de shedding, so... It's perfect for that. It's a little bit big for these small little doggies, though. So. I did doing just groom a... Um, you're doing your back end daily. My golden retriever named Maisie. So I'm using a Hydra bath. We have all of her soap shampoo is already in the wash tank down here. That's my wash tank. I filled it all up ready to go for her. With some nice shampoo and it's all um, warm, it's temperature controlled, all ready to go. And then I have fresh water in my rinse tank, which is on this side. The cool thing, her harness that she came in will actually fit her better. The harness will fit her better. I'm not sure I'm keen to put it back on her, but it might be time to get her a bigger harness, girl. Alright, I know. You'll feel much better when we're all done, okay? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. So she wasn't necessarily all that dirty. She was more dirty because she had so much matting we couldn't properly clean her, but she had been bathed. Alright. There's cleaning going on behind the scenes, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Clean. Lovely to have an assistant. You haven't done this in a while. Alright. Oh, yeah, I haven't been out here to video in a while. A long while. I don't even know when the last time is that we posted a video on the channel. It's been a long while, it's about time, man. Yeah, well, we've been doing live streams. We have been doing live streams. We were doing live streams every day. Calm down, calm down, that's enough. Be good girl and have a nice bath, thank you. And I say we, mostly you. Yeah, me. Me. Behind every great woman is an even great, is a great man. Behind every great woman is some guy. Some guy. Just some guy. Oops, nothing else. Stop that thing. Calm down. You're fine. You're fine. There is one thing you can do for me. No. Can you grab a towel from the cupboard? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Huh? You mean set it up at the table? What, nice red one? Yeah. Oh, slow down. You're being a silly girl. From the left side, just one tail. Oh, I got you two. Well, I only need one, and then that map. Yeah, I know. But I got you two. As the person who watches everything, one tail is suitable. You've only got one dog today. Or maybe two. Actually, this is the second dog out of three. Yeah, I've got one more to go after this. But I don't use a towel for whiskey woo. You just get blow dried. You're okay. So I don't groom very many multi shih tzu or shih tzus that are okay with being blow dried. So I dare say her big reaction, that's what I'm thinking, it wasn't the leg, so my next step is it's going to be the blow dryer. Um, but they all, um, you know, snap at the blow dryer, that's pretty normal with this breed. So that doesn't surprise me in any way, and I don't consider that to be an aggressive dog. They're just doing what they do. Calm down now. How would you feel if I told you I forgot to press record? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Is that the case? Yep. Are you for real? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, that was an authentic reaction. Except <laughs> you didn't swear at me, so. No, the swearing comes next. See, I don't know. There's no way I, I can. As far as I know, it's working. It's it's recording. But at the end, I don't know if it's working. If it's the sounds good or anything. It seems to be working. I've just got some conditioner now to go over. Oh, careful. Go over her real quick. Here you go. That thing on her eye makes her look like she's older. Yeah. Unfortunately, people continue to breed dogs. Um, that have cherry eye and it does seem to pass on. Oh my love, calm down. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that there are people breeding them with cherry, you know, the female has cherry eye. And, uh, well, you just shouldn't be doing that. If you know the dog's got a defect, don't breed them. Yeah, you gotta make money. Alright, let's calm down. But you gotta make money, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Calm down, please. Excuse me, you are fine. Young lady. Did you just decide that you've had enough of this? Just wait till the blow dryer is done. <laughs> yeah. And then you can really complain. She's saying, I'm a ticking time bomb and this bomb's running out of time. Yeah. You're one of those dogs that's fine and then one second you just go, boom, now I'm not. Thank you for your lovely work. Come on. For my lovely work, you mean cleaning the table? Come on. That's amazing. Yep. Let me do it the way I want to do it. Okay? You have a lot of tail hair. Alright. So what I want to do is give her a nice warm hug and a nice warm towel and get her as dry as I can without a blow dryer. That's gonna be my aim. There you go. There you go. All tucked in. Snug as a bug in a rug. Look at this, you've got a whole snack bar over here. Yeah, of course I do. Girl's got to eat. Can I show people your snack bar? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, here you go. I'm surprised it's all still there and the kids haven't come in and just taken what they want. <laughs> yeah, I've been eating a little bit every now and again. A couple of snacky snacks. Come on, camera. So I've got two of these grooming harnesses. Um, I actually prefer. I prefer these, um, what are these made out of? Nylon or something. Poly... Polyurethane. Polyurethane things, harness leashes. Because uh, they don't absorb the moisture. Um, but this closure on them is quite useless. You think you've got your dog secured and then they just they just pull on it and it opens, so. But it doesn't absorb water. It doesn't absorb water, but also I suspected that this dog would pull around in the bath, which she did. So the harness is the safest option to protect her, yeah. you know, trachea, neck and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it does absorb water. So I've swapped over to my second one, which is dry, and we'll just leave this one to air dry. And of course, chuck it in the washing machine later so that it can be clean. Hey, okay, and we'll put you in the dry harness. What a little munchkin. Because it takes longer to blow dry this thing than it does to blow dry the dog. Yeah. So they end up with wet patches. Um, so it's not a problem, but yeah, if you're going to use it in the bath, have two. Have one to use in the bath and one to use on the table. You're right, sweetheart. You're doing great. So some people might find this a waste of time to sit here, stand here holding a doggy so that they can air dry. Um, but it dries up a lot. So Kylie has this blow dryer which was donated dry. via patreon it was thank you patreon supply su supporters stand. <laughs>
it needs and it's, a wipe down. It's not pretty looking. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. They could have made it look like a bit fancy. Where did they get triple K from? Double K. I use the um, force dryer as well. Know. That one down there. Also the Challenge Air version. You use both of them at the same time? Sometimes, yeah. Not on a dog like this. Yeah. Well, maybe a dog. Actually, yeah. I, I put it on low and I put that on low. Gets the job done. You're all right, sweetheart. So once my towel feels nice and wet, I know that that's significantly less water on the dog to dry. Can't get you out of there. You don't want to come out? You're all warm and snuggly. And if you're not familiar with our channel, then uh, we also live stream on Mondays, which is actually Sunday night in the US. So Monday morning here in Australia is Sunday night in the US in most places, in Canada as well. Um, and then we stream again here on well, pretty much all day on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, and then pretty much all day again on Wednesday, which is actually Tuesday. Tuesday night for the US. We used to do every day, but Kylie was going nuts. Yeah, that was a lot. She wasn't getting to listen to her murder mystery novels. Oh, oh, sorry, murder um, mystery YouTube channel. And romance novels. She was forgetting how she could dispose of me when she yeah, was... Yeah, so uh, it's getting out of touch. Getting out of touch. So she needs to keep up with the times and listens to the latest crime so that she can... Uh, know what's when the day comes that she needs to do that, be she well can prepared. avoid getting caught. you got to be well prepared. Because is it wrong if you don't get caught? Did it even happen? Did, Did it even happen? Caught? Exactly right. The tree fell in the woods. I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? No. You won't hear it because you'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. If, I, if, if something ever happens to you, I'm going down whether I did it or not. Yeah, I know. Cause Cause the is, evidence on YouTube. Everyone's going to be like, she did it. Making, she did it. <laughs> we're making a murder mystery vlog. So I would normally put music on in my live stream while I blow dry, um, but this isn't a live stream. So, works, so Dale will add music. It's got the same mannerisms as a dog that it's never had contact with ever. The same sniffle, the same movement, the same everything. Yeah. But they're completely different. Doggy. Different beings, they've never met each other, but they're kind of the same. A doggy is a doggy. Yeah, action on set. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get this girl finished off. Get some blades, my little brush, some scissors. There's something I'm looking for. It's a muscle. Where'd you put a muscle? Up there. Oh, thanks. Is that where it goes? No, but it'll do. I mean, yeah. sometimes I just put things wherever. Yeah. So. Because there's already one there and I didn't even notice. But no, they go up there. But that's okay. Oh. Right, you ready to finish off your grooming now? It should all be downhill from here with any luck. Come here, sweetie. Downhill is not a good thing. Well, uphill's worse. That's it, it is, isn't it? Smooth sailing, how about that? Okay, it should all be smooth sailing from here. Thank you. What's the opposite of smooth sailing? Downhill. No, downhill is a good thing. <laughs> it's going downhill, it's not a good thing. 
Am, have I been saying the wrong saying my whole life? No, I don't know. I hope not. I say that all the time. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Well, isn't perspective a wonderful thing? Yes. Like somebody's really sick and you're like, oh no, they're going downhill fast. Yeah, but you could say Me, I'm like, yay, we're rolling. <laughs> you could say someone's really sick or someone's really sick. Yes. I see what you did there. Like, ew, that's sick. And oh my goodness, he is so sick. Oh shit, that was a sick jump, dude. That's fully sick. Fully sick, bro. Yeah, I'm up with the lingo. My eyebrows are on fleek. Uh, I gotta tell you, neither you nor I are up with the lingo these days. We are both officially <laughs> old. Actually, I did see some of it the other day and I started reading it and I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't even so care. did I. I was like, nah, I'm I done. I don't even care. I am so done. <laughs> I am ready to be a little old lady. The world can carry on moving past me. I don't <laughs> care. There's even a new release phone and I haven't even thought about it. I'm just like, nope, not falling into that trap again. Wow. You are getting old. It's official. Old and conservative. Yep. Happens to the best of us. I'm gonna waste your money on things. Could you do a smelly doggy fart? That's really stinky, young lady. That's the thing, right? I've been old for a while. You've been old for 10 years. <laughs> right? Yes. And you haven't? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. No, I have not. I'm just getting old. It's been like living with an extra kid in the house. In a nice way. I mean, I like children, saying? but I can't get a hold of them. Oh, goodness. I, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. It was always going to come out of you. Calm down. Everyone else knew it was coming too. Yeah. Sorry to the regulars, but I'm trying to bring more subscribers. He's using the jokes that he used to charm our yeah. original community to yeah. try and charm more people. Do I need more jokes? Tell me in the chat. Say in the chat if I need more jokes. It's so funny though, because the comment's going to be like, this was a great groom. Love the groomer. The guy in the background was unnecessary. <laughs> Can you ask the man in the back to stop talking? <laughs> Every time I'm like, ah, you win some, you lose some. Sorry guys, it's a part of the package. Not always, <laughs> not always, but you, you make appearances. Just today. Today. It's been a long time. It has been. Easily like a year and a half since we've done a video like this. Yeah, but I've recorded videos without you. Yeah, and I've got them. I just we were without with them. you. With or without you, my love. What do you do with your leggies? I might put her in the hammock just to do her legs anyway, just for ease of not having to worry about it. Hey, how's that sound? Let's do your face. Is, um, is, is there a reason the camera's on that side of the table, though? I feel like you're doing some really lazy camera I'm work. Lazy. Like, come on, let's go. Put some energy up in here. Okay, I've got worn out, that's all. But now we're actually doing I was waiting stuff. for you to make the decision yourself, but you didn't get there. You didn't arrive there of your own volitions. Oh. I've been standing up for a long time. Oh, goodness me. You know what I mean? I was actually restarting your computer. Yeah, why? It said it needed to. Oh. For a Norton internet security update. Of course. What are these little scraggly ends? to be scissor reactive. I really wonder what happened last time. She must have just been young and overwhelmed and 
What are you talking about? Like why oh, she was so the other groom. Yeah. Some groomers don't like dogs. <laughs> That's actually sadly true. Yeah, they picked the one profession. All right. Yep. So we have three dogs at the moment. Joey's the newest addition to the family. Oh my goodness, he's wild. And he is a face licker, face sniffer. Oh my goodness, he's crazy. So if he was to see you sitting on the couch or something like that, his first instinct is to run up to you, shove his face right into yours and just lick you. Lick, 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 lick. He doesn't even think. He just goes and licks everything. It's so fast as well. You, you, sometimes oh you can't reflex away from it, but he'll get in four licks before you flinch and move away. Yes. A little lick machine. But he also does it to Alice too. So oh, yeah. We let Alice in the other night to come to, to go to bed. Yep. And um, he was just licking her face like crazy. Whoa, camera went nuts. Sorry, mm. guys. Don't make that noise while I'm grooming a dog. Oh, no. Whoops. I do that to you when you're driving. When, when I'm driving. I'm like, oh. <gasps> and you're like, what? I'm like, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you can't make that noise while I'm driving. Oh, sorry. Did you see the cow? No. Yeah, but the other day you did it, it wasn't even something to do with anything that was going on around us. It was just something on your phone or whatever. That sounds like something I would do. Or a message you just received. That sounds like something I would do. I can't help it, I'm excitable. If you're gonna be just push that little cherry eye in right now and just help help her out. I think you know can, but I'm not a vet. I ain't messing with nothing. I stay in my lane. That's not my lane. Yeah. I leave it however I found it. I'm not doing any damage to anything. If it's like a grass seed abscess or something, like I'll drain it because you've got to drain an abscess. It's got to come out. Yeah. And the dog will feel a lot better for it. Um, but that's like a medical thing that needs to be yeah. properly tended to. I also, if it's an abscess, sorry, they do get told to go to the vet because they'll need antibiotics. Yeah, if they're bad. But I will drain it to give the dog re like immediate relief from something that would be very uncomfortable. Oh my god. What? Sorry guys, I wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, the camera was like... Aww. How's that? <laughs> Look at her little face. Cute. What a cutie pie. Cute. She's very cute. All right, we are going to take some length off that tail because, well, it's only going to get matted again. The very end. Yeah. But it's super cool long. I know, but it doesn't need to be. Like Not big, while they're learning. Big paintbrush or it's a big cow's tail. While everybody's learning, um, better to just keep it simple. It is a very beautiful tail. We're not going to take too much. too much. That's too much. It's not, trust me. It just comes back matted again. Which is a disaster. You don't want it dragging on the floor picking up everything from inside and outside of the house. It should go shorter again, but I'm not going to go that short. It should be trimmed to, so that it's not dragging on the ground here, like that. Yeah. But because she's a Shih Tzu, she will flick it over Have her butt anyway. Like waggling all the time. Super happy. Yeah, it's still beautiful. It's just going to be picking up less crap and... Yep. Hopefully. It's good. That's a pretty tail you got there, little miss. All right, so I've decided I'm going to put her in the hammock to do her feet just so we can get it done nice and quick without her uh, fighting against me. Yep. I feel bad leaving the muzzle on her because she really has not been that reactive. Only her feet. Maybe after a few grooms, you could probably just take the muzzle off. Well, the thing is, is that she's not reactive to the muzzle either. Yeah. So if she was fighting the muzzle and constantly trying to get it off and she hadn't shown me any signs of aggression, I'd take it off. But she's not bothered by the muzzle being on, so there's not really any harm leaving it on as, 
as opposed to taking it off. She's going to be in the same mood no matter what. She's like, whoa, I'm defying gravity. <laughs> Sorry, you're flying. You're flying. Look at you go, little girl. The camera just did a weird shake. Alright. Sorry, guys. The camera did a weird shake. It's on a gimbal. The gimbal just went crazy. Oh, get around that side. So, you can't get everywhere into all of the little nooks and crannies in the hammock, um, but it's an excellent tool. You're just not going to be able to do that front right paw. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how she goes. That's the one that I'm probably the most worried about. So we totally shaved Joey, but we didn't record it. That's true. Yeah, um, I've been working a lot, like for this time of year, I'm normally a lot quieter. Yeah, but people are going to blame me when something doesn't get recorded. Uh, no, I just was not in the mood, like keeping up with grooming my own dogs when I haven't had cancellation spots or days off. I was just like, that's it, he's getting a shave down. He wasn't even um, matted or anything, it's just I can't keep brushing him and... Like, I've been so busy, I wasn't going to be prioritising brushing yeah, him as much. Yeah, but I think much. his comfort as well. Yeah, he was hot. Big, hot and, yeah. Um, but either way, I was going to be shaving him down before I go have my hysterectomy anyway, because I will not be doing any grooming for six weeks. Yeah. So I figured if I do it now, he'll have a little bit of regrowth before the winter, you know, kicks in. So he won't be cold. I could do emergency grooming. Um, yeah, see, I don't really want you grooming my dogs. Do you want to have a business when you come back? <laughs> I mean, I don't even want you grooming our dogs. So... I've watched enough videos to know how to groom a dog. You know, a lot of people say that. I think I might just watch a few more videos before I really do get into it, though. A lot of people say it. And then they go groom their dogs and they give them nicks and cuts and... Um, find it to be very difficult or don't What's achieve the looks doing? they're going for. Sorry guys, the gimbal was going nuts. Uh, which I'm not opposed to grooming your dogs at home. Like, practice, learn, do everything you can. That's fine. I just made everyone safe. dizzy. I'm, I, I think I just blacked that out. Yeah. So it went dark for a second because the gimbal went crazy. I don't know what's up with it. Well, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while it's since stretching I've used its it. legs. just randomly shot up and looked at the ceiling. So with the matting that's been in here, these are not going to be the prettiest of feet. Um, just while we get everything cleaned right out of there. It's a brand new gimbal too, relatively. I mean, I've had it for a year or so. So, I mean, ideally we would have a bit more coverage on these little toes so they're not poking out, but, um, you know, you get what you get. When you've got a matted dog, you take these nails back a tiny bit more. I wish we could see Mum's reaction. I know, right? Or at least hear about Mum's reaction. It's, yeah, well, once she goes home, maybe we'll just, I'll pass on, like, do a quick we recording do a quick, of how she went. recording of, yeah. It's not. It's such hard work to include other people in content from a legal perspective. It's not worth it. We are it. a dog grooming channel, not a people grooming channel. That's correct. Here we go. So you can see if you look at this side and this side with um, ease, we've managed to get these, you know, can you see yeah. both sides, the difference? 
We'll have a look at that foot. A, That's nicely done. A nice clean up and without foot. stressing her out or fighting Scruffy against her. Scruffy and scraggly. <laughs> So I'm going to spin her around, which might freak her out for a second, but she'll settle. You're okay, baby. You're okay. We should call it the space suit. The space suit. The jumpsuit. Oop, missed my chair. Only half of my ginormous butt made it onto the chair. You're leaving the best one for last, aren't you? Yep. Because when she decides she's had enough, this is undone. Oh, that's fine. It's not made it. When she decides she's had enough, that's it, isn't it, really? Pretty much. But she's done very, very well. She's done amazing, considering the, like, free warnings I got from the pet parents. Yeah, okay. well, we got massive warnings about walking. Yeah, that's right. That's, um, but do you know what? I appreciate it. I've been able to put every precaution in place. Like, I always give every dog the benefit of the doubt coming in. I treat them as if there's no issues at all. And then I find out along the way, I'm like, whoa, okay. Um, so putting everything in place first, just in case, and then discovering that um, there's not really that much of an issue is a really nice, pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, I don't know, you know, how severe her behaviour was for the previous groom or what, you know, condition she was in or what things could have set her off. So we'll never truly know, but for now she's done a fantastic job. It could have been something as simple as that there was already another dog in the salon or something like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Because here there's nothing. That's right. And, you know, some groomers have their own personal pets in their salons all the time, um, which for me, like, That's I don't like weird. that. Yeah, I don't like it. It's like if a, con a you know, a concreter came to do some concrete work as a contractor at your house and they brought three kids. Well, I've got another example. You'd be like, what? A, a guy who does jumping castles. Yeah. <laughs> bringing all of his kids when he's at, he's so he sets up the jumping castle and then he's got all of his kids that he's looking after and they all just spend all day jumping on the jumping castle. Yeah. And telling other kids it's my dad's jumping castle. <laughs> Have you ever encountered that before, my Have love? Have I? I mean, oh, you know. I it, used to organize It sounds like events, a pretty realistic so. story. <laughs> actually, it's, it sounds ridiculous, but yes, it did actually happen. It did actually happen. He didn't get the contract again? No. Yeah, sweetheart. Sometimes I take Lockie out, uh, Jordan out DJing. Yeah, but he's very, um, he helps he's me. extremely respectful. Yeah. And knows his place in that setting, but also yeah. he plays music, so. Yeah. Um, it makes sense for him to be there. He helps me pack up and move the equipment and stuff like that, so that's good. No, I've seen him in that setting and he is extremely respectful, which is a miracle because let me tell you, that kid is like, <laughs> he's my nemesis, man. That kid is always testing every limitation possible when it comes to me. But he is very respectful when he's in a public setting like that. Yeah. It's his sister that sets him off. It is. Between the two he of them. He does not oh like his word. sister even slightly. So I've taken Jordan dog grooming with me before too when I was operating a mobile oh, yeah, business. Yeah. It was a punishment. That was a punishment, yeah. <laughs> it was a punishment, but uh, the I had pretty much all little old ladies as clients that day. And did he eat some cake and get some hot chocolates <laughs> and get to put his no feet up in some, you know, I was working with a, a lot of wealthy people with yeah. very beautiful large homes and oh, stuff. Gosh. and. He got to go inside and see, go in the kitchen and get some fresh baked cookies. I'm what? like, and I'd say to them, no, he's here as a punishment because he's being very, very naughty. Yeah. Oh, I know, dear, but there's nothing, you know, they, they're not little for long. You've got to spoil them while they're little. All right, yeah. then you, I'll groom your dog. You go pamper my child who's in trouble. <laughs> it's like a little It was monster. not in any way, shape or form a punishment for him. He was like, can I come with you tomorrow? I'm like, no, you're going back to school. Like a little yeah, monster yeah. child at Christmas time having a tantrum and then a, a parent coming along and giving them Grandma's a present. Grandma's like, here, have a present. Have a present. <laughs> That'll make you feel better. Oh dear. And yeah. then the parent, the parent of the child is looking at the grandparent going, um, I think you've me. forgotten how to have children. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to get the best angle. Oh, making well. everybody dizzy. Do you know what though? He did still learn something. 
on the what? day that he came out with me. He but if he goes that... out, he gets lots of cake and chocolate? No. So it was a long day. It was like a 12, 13 hour day um, with... I mean, he got to eat food, but what he did see is that I did not stop for the toilet. I didn't stop to eat food. I just kept working and working and working. And he did see, oh my goodness, you work hard. He's like, are you going to stop? Are you going to have a break? No, we don't have time for a break. We've got to keep going. There are people waiting to have their dogs groomed. Yeah. And I think that surprised him a bit. He was like, oh, wow. So there is that. Although I think it's worn off by now. That was a couple of years ago. <laughs> He's like back to it. Like... Oh, yeah. It's a okay, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. I get that one a lot. You're the worst mother in the world. You're yep. the worst mother in the world. You Do you don't know love what? me. If you thought I was the best mum in the world, I probably wouldn't be doing my job well enough. Yeah, I'm not your friend. Yeah, that's what I say to him. I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. Let me just grab a um, grinder real quick too. See if we can soften some of these up. Put your face mask on. No, I'm not going to be doing that much. Hold your breath. I just hold my breath and blow the air away from me if I need to. Some of these are just a little bit raggedy. I know, I know. Good girl, well done. <laughs> Good girl. I wasn't sure if she would do so well with this, but look at her go. They got sharp little cords, especially when oh, you're yeah. walking along and they jump up on you. The back of your leg? The back of your leg. Oh my goodness. As you're walking, you're just like, ah! You kind of keel over. So and you go, go all winter wearing pants, right? Yeah, and then some And then you, shorts. you put shorts on for the first time all year, and then a dog jumps on you, and you're like, oh my god! But they've been jumping on you all winter. Yeah. So we're about to go into winter, so we're fine. We're so going back fine to now. pants weather. We're going to go back to jeans. Even though I wear jeans all year round you anyway, I just wear my jeans. Well, you're working in this ice box. It's the jeans or pajamas. The air conditioner going. Yeah, I've started using it less and less now. I didn't turn it on until I blow dried the first dog. I was like, oh my goodness, it's hot in here. Let's put that aircon on. Good job, sweetheart. She has done such an amazing job. We're pretty much finished now. Just some Good. little tidy ups. And then I can go inside and chillax. No. On. Is, is my bath turned on? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. yep. Excellent. So I didn't actually cut these with the nail clipper because I couldn't see them clearly to make out where the clips were. And she was like, pulling her legs away and stuff, so there's not that much length to come off. I equate this angle grinder on the nails as a drill to the dentist. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of dogs aren't that bothered by it. Some are, but I think they're just like being a bit silly. This is my baby grinder. I've got this um, great big rotary tool here. Yeah. Which I use on my large oh, breed yeah. dogs. <laughs> and it's loud. It's like a Dremel, but it's like the Australian home brand Dremel. Oh, I'm getting a cramp in my Actually, hand. I don't mind the dentist drill because you know that they're actually fixing something. I'm not that getting, bothered by going to the like dentist. They're, they're it's not fixing. comfortable, but I'm not like anxious about it. Yeah. I obviously don't want to get anything done, but if I, I have to, I'm I had just a like filling done the other day, mm -hmm. and by the end of the day, all my swelling was gone down in my face. Yep. And there was absolutely no pain whatsoever. Yeah, you feel better. I had a feeling fall out, so from previous. All right. There got you go, got stuck in a lolly and got yanked out. So. You're done. Because I got a sweet tooth. Cleaned off, and you can go home. How's that sound? Like a good idea? There's always something you're like, oh, didn't do that. Well, for me anyway, not everybody. A little, a little tuft of hair here. So in our live streams, we're going to experiment with playing crossword puzzles and things like that. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Have some... Make sure you join us on a live stream if you found this video interesting. 
And uh, the way, to, the best way to do that is to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and click all notifications. And then you'll get a message pop up when we start a live stream. Theoretically. Yeah, it doesn't always work. Doesn't always work. But you can follow our schedule too. But it's amazing technology because we are like virtually upside down compared to the US. Exactly. So, and you guys can't even tell. There was no it's way you would even like. We are like actually upside down. So upside down. So it takes a little bit of effort to convert the image, flip it over. Hang on, hang on. Okay, sorry, carry on. It takes a little bit of effort when they when we film something in Australia, they've got to flip it over and convert it back yeah, to change the image around the right way up. It's, for you guys to see I don't it. Know about your face, I want to trim that hair there. Same, same the other way too. That's why there's a 20 second delay because it takes 20 seconds to yeah rotate everything to rotate the picture. I know, right? Get it back the right way up. Is there hair sticking out there? What a cutie! I like that doggy smell. Me too. What's that one? Coconut. Pink musk. Pink musk. Stay here, sweetheart. Let me just get this. Every time I start cutting, she winks and the hair goes away. Mum's going to be happy. Yeah, watch out for that ear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I look back, I'm like, yeah. Is this little hair worth it? Probably not. If you cut the hair right under the eye, yep. thinking like you're going to get it out of the way, no, it just sticks up. Like, yeah, okay, so it sits up worse. That's why I'm leaving it, yeah, because it's worse. On a shave down, like, you just make it as tidy as you can on a shih tzu because their hair sits a very specific way but that's it this is our um severely aggressive severely matted t t dog groom turns out she's a little angel angel cake aren't you can I kiss give, it, give her cuddles give her cuddles. kisses let me get your chili for you you were not spicy i give you one chili out of ten here you go you can come have a cuddle miss harper so hopefully she's going to become a regular Visitor to the salon. Oh, oh, careful, careful. There you go. Oh my goodness, she's a little snuggle bug. Hopefully she'll become a regular. We'll get her feeling very confident with her grooming experiences and feeling much better. We'll do some education with mum about her coat care at home. And um, I think everything will be much better from here on out for her. But she has been absolutely amazing. She's a very good girl. And I am excited to get to know her more. Yes. Hey. I'm trying to get down, She wants to go. Awkward. Well, I think she's awkward just for being held. Forward. She's not totally used to being held. <laughs> or she's not comfortable with it anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get her home to mum. So, wherever you are. Take two. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you have a fantastic time of day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye. Ben, 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 ben. Is that the song at the end of my streams? Yes. <laughs> I don't know it, I don't listen to it. <laughs> no, you, don't. you don't ever watch your videos. Okie dokie. Can you all see me? I think you can. Yeah, that'll do. Okie dokie. So, uh, my next dog, Whiskey Woo, is here. So, how Whiskey Woo. Um, Harper's gone home, so her mum came in to pick her up, because remember I said that it was a friend that dropped her off. Mum came in to pick her up, and um, oh, she's so cute. She's just like so apologetic for the dog being in the condition that she was in. Very, very happy with the haircut. Um, we went over, like I said, we'll offer education and support and try and help her to do better, because that's what we do here. Um, it's easy to judge people for getting it wrong, but you know, it's better to support them and help them to get it right because you know we don't always know what we're doing so um, we went over the education side of things we talked about brushes combs how regular um, her grooming schedule should be and um, yeah so she is going to come see me every four weeks which I said to mum she doesn't need to come every four weeks but you know whatever makes you happy so she'll come and have a bath um, at four weeks and then a full groom at eight weeks and then four weeks she'll have a bath eight weeks she'll have a full groom so she'll be on like a alternating schedule uh, we're going to keep her not on a 7F, probably do like a 10mm or a 13mm, either a 3 or 4F um, blade cut uh, and keep her at a reasonable length so that mum can work on learning how to brush her and um, she still wants to be able to wash her like on the weekends at home and she recognises that washing has probably contributed to the matting because she was doing the washing but not getting her dried and brushed out so she already knew that before I said anything at all. 
which I said, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes, which is unfortunate. So uh, we've gone over that. She's on a regular schedule. Um, I've talked to her about brushes. I didn't have anything here that I could sell to her today because my stocks are pretty low. I've sold most of the stuff I had. I need to do a new order. Um, but I've shown her what to get. Uh, she's got some stuff at home that is fine. Um, I encourage her to get a steel tooth comb so that she can get right down to the skin. You know, brushing the top of the coat's fine, but if you're not getting right down to the skin, that's where the matting usually happens. So, yeah, she's very, very happy, um, very appreciative uh, and apologetic and all that sort of stuff. Like, it's, she's not done this out of neglect or, um, you know, not caring about the dog. She loves the dog, Harper, sorry, she loves Harper. Um, and she's very sweet. She just didn't know what she was getting into. So um, something we can all learn from this is if you're going to buy a dog, please research the breed. Please research their coat care needs, how often they need to have professional grooming done. Um, and everybody thinks, oh, we can do that at home. I've got clippers. It's not like that. And um, in the first year of life, you should be getting professional grooming done. Even if you're going to do it yourself at home, consider helping them to acclimate and settle into the grooming um, salon environment and having everything done the way it's supposed to be done so that if for any reason later in life you know you have an injury or you suddenly become really old and you can't do it anymore or your hands hurt or whatever or you're too busy your working things change and you decide that you're going to get professional grooming done you want that dog to be already acclimated to it so the first year of life very um, highly recommend having professional grooming done uh, for all dogs that need professional grooming and um, you know then swap to home grooms yourself later on but yeah she's gonna be fine she looks great she did an amazing job with that groom mum is very very happy and um, we've been able to give education and support I haven't like berated her for the dog being in that condition I've supported her educated we're on the right track now moving forward and I think everything's gonna be fine so we should see more of Harper over the next few years um, in our live streams and uh, some videos that we record and uh, fingers crossed she settles into the grooming. She wasn't um, a naughty dog or anything. She's just a little bit anxious, I think, today. So hopefully that she gets past all of that and she's going to be fine. So yeah, that's my update. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, have a fantastic time of day. And I'll see you in our lives or in some of our future videos. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hello, my beautiful fur family. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna give you a big old list of things to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell if you want notifications for every time we post a video. If you think this video is worth sharing, hit that share button and share it with all of your friends. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time of day and we look forward to seeing you again real soon.